Hello, we're going to talk about other angle relationships in circles today. First one we're going to talk about is a tangent chord angle. This is a chord. A chord is a segment with both endpoints on the circle. A tangent is a line that touches a circle at one point. All right, here is your rule for the tangent chord angle. We're going to use magenta today. Okay, do you see how this angle intercepts this arc? So the measure of the angle, angle EAC, is one half of that arc, EA. So let's say the arc is 120 degrees, then that would make this angle, okay, remember the angle goes from the straight chord to the straight tangent comes all the way down, that's going to be 60 degrees. Now the other side has to have the same relationship. Okay, this angle, angle EAB, has to be half of that arc. And remember this is a major arc, so we're going to need to use three letters to name the major arc. Arc EFA. All right, so let's just give you an example to show that these work. Let's say, for example, this arc is 80 degrees, much bigger than 80 degrees. However, these numbers are going to be good for me. That makes this angle down here 40 degrees, because this angle has to be half of that arc. And down on the bottom, I have a linear pair where one side is 40 degrees, which makes the other side 140. So this part over here, 140. Which would make this arc here twice as big as 140, which would be 280. And the two arcs of the circle, 280 plus 80, adds up to 360. So the arcs add up to 360. The angles add up to 180, exactly how they are supposed to. So let's do a couple of example problems. Hit pause, see if you can come up with the answers, then come back and check. All right, angle EAC, here's angle EAC down here. Switch to red here, that's 61 degrees. Makes this arc here 122 degrees, so hopefully you came up with 122. So I started with the angle, got the arc. This one over here, GLI, we're using three letters, so we're talking about a major arc, that arc is 254 degrees, starting with the arc. Now, find the angle, angle JGI. Here's angle JGI, that's the angle that the arc is inside of. So that's going to be half of that arc, so that makes this 127 degrees. Okay, angles inside the circle. We're going to take a look at these two chords that intersect. I'm going to highlight these two chords, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this arc here and this arc on the other side. Okay, and I think that that shape makes a bow tie. So we have a slice of pizza for some type of angles. We have the snow cone for other types of angles, and now I have a bow tie. So here's what's going to happen. This angle that's inside the bow tie, angle DYC, this angle right here is going to be equal to one half the two arcs that are outside the bow tie added together. I could have done angle NYA, but we know that these two angles are equal because they are vertical angles. Now let's take a look at this other bow tie that's formed with the green arcs. Okay, that has to follow the same rule. Which angle's inside that bow tie? Angle DYN, or this one here, AYC, which is equal to one half, okay, this green arc, ND, plus this green arc down here, because that makes the bow tie, AC. Okay, pretty straightforward example. Let's try some problems here. 
hit pause, see what you come up with. All right, I would recommend drawing the bow ties. All right, so here we go. We're using, we're looking for DYC. We're looking for this guy here. So I'm going to use the bow tie that makes that angle up. All right, remember what we said. Angle DYC is equal to one half the two arcs added together. DC plus NA. So if NA is 38, DC is 110. Angle DYC is equal to one half of the 110 plus 38. So angle DYC is equal to one half of 148, which is equal to 74. That looks like a 74 degree angle. That's a good example. All right, let's try this one over here. All right, we've got an EP is 66. Here's EP, 66. That goes on the arc. EP is 66. And I got angle PRE, which is 75. And I want this other arc over here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my bow tie. And the formula says that the angle, angle PRE, is equal to one half the two arcs added together, PE plus OW. So we got to put some numbers in here, but these numbers are going to set up a little bit different than this one over here. So we got one half, 66 plus OW. How do you solve this? Times both sides by two, and that's 150, that gets rid of the one half, 66 plus OW, subtract 66 from both sides, and I get OW is equal to 84 degrees. How do I check this? 66 plus 84 is 150, 150 divided by 2 is 75. Let's look at a little tricky problem here. Okay. So RO, here's RO, right up here. 103. PE looks to be the other side of the bow tie. It's 95. So I'm going to finish my bow tie. And I want to write my formula. Okay. This angle here, or the other one one of these two, angle PSE is equal to one half, all right, that 95 plus the 103. So angle PSE is equal to one half of, what's that, 198. Angle PSE is equal to 99 degrees. So this is 99, but I want OSP. I want this guy right here. Easy enough to do. If that's 99, if these two meet, and this is 99, then you should be able to figure out what this one here, and this one's going to be 81 degrees. So I hope you found these problems enjoyable and some pretty cool formulas. Be careful, it gets a little tricky. I would recommend drawing everything out just like I did here, and hopefully you do very well on the problems, and I'll see you on the next video.